Through the years, tennis rackets have evolved massively, and I always wonder, where is the next innovation gonna come from? Well, Wilson have brought out a brand new racket. It's called the Shift. This racket is brand new in the Wilson range, and they've actually innovated in two ways. One is to do with their actual design process, and number two is the new technology within the racket and how it performs. Now, I've been testing this racket out for two weeks already, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you my verdict. Let's get into it. So if you've been with me and the channel for a while, I know what you're thinking. Ashley, what about head? And to be honest, I've been using head rackets for years and years, but I was getting to the stage with the channel and making my reviews that I was getting so many questions from you guys asking me to compare certain rackets against other rackets. But because I was only using head rackets, I was quite limited with my choice. So I decided to end my contract with head and go solo for a while, which is great news for the channel as it means that I can have a lot more variety in my reviews and I could help you out even more. And what was really cool was shortly after I ended my contract, Wilson actually got in touch with me, offering me to try the shift, which I jumped at. I've been using this racket for two weeks already. And in this video, first we're gonna look at what it looks like, we're gonna talk through the specs, and then I'm gonna take you guys on court with me to tell you what I think of how it feels. So first, let's talk about the aesthetics of the racket. The first thing you'll notice is this unique colorway. It looks from a distance to be white, but actually when you look closer at the frame, you'll see that it has a slight blue tint in it in different lights, almost iridescent-like, a little bit like the Wilson Blade, which has that greeny browny color that changes. What you'll also notice on the frame, if you look inside here, you can see that it says W Labs, Wilson Labs, and it's actually got this QR code on here as well, which leads me to Wilson's first innovation. They're actually designing this racket in a very different way to any other manufacturers. They're using play testers to give them feedback before they launch the proper model. Now, this model here is actually a prototype or a tester model. And what they've done is they've asked me to send my feedback via this QR code. Now, Wilson have actually sent this prototype out to various play testers all over the world. And I was lucky enough to be one of them. But the good news for you is they've actually already launched this for consumers to buy. So you can actually get your hands on this prototype model at the time that I filmed this video. Now, disclaimer, if you're watching this a year down the line, they're probably sold out. But what Wilson wanted to do was get real players to test out the racket and to give their views before they make any final adjustments to the finished product. So later on this year, they'll be releasing the actual product and whether it looks exactly the same as this or different, it may even have slightly different specs later down the line, is down to you and me after we review it, which in my opinion is a really cool thing that Wilson have done. Anyway, back down to the specs of this racket. Now, the one that I've got in my hand, you'll see here in the frame, you can see that it says 99 and 300. 99 refers to 99 square inch head, and 300 is how many grams the racket weighs unstrung. Now, this prototype comes in two versions, this one being the 300 gram one, and a slightly heavier one at 315 grams unstrung. Outside of the difference in weight is also the string pattern. This string pattern is a unique 16 by 20 whereas the other version, the heavier one, is an 18 by 20. Now, because Wilson wanted play testers to give their honest feedback, they were the only specs that we got given. We weren't given things like the balance or even that extra technology that I was talking about at the start. I will say that after playing with it for two weeks, it does feel slightly headlight, and there's some other interesting things which I'll talk to you about when I get on court hitting. Looking at the specs, it's quite a unique setup. Generally, when you've got a 16 string pattern like this one, this one's 16 by 20, it is tailored more towards players that like to hit with spin. However, the head size itself is quite unique. There aren't so many 99 square inch rackets. I'm personally used to playing with 100 square inch, which can be more forgiving for players that like to hit with spin. Whereas 98 square inch rackets tend to be more control oriented. This one, interestingly, sits between the two, so it should give you a nice balance of spin, control, and power. Finally, looking at the aesthetics, you can see they've got this nice gray color grip, which goes really well with the paint job on the racket. And when you look at the butt cap of the racket, they've got the W Labs logo on the bottom. Now, finally, before we get on court and I share my views with you, we're gonna talk about the strings. Now, I've got Luxilon 4G in here, strung at 54 pounds. They've actually sent me Alu Power as well, so I'm gonna test those out after this review. But uh, yeah, that's what I've got set up here, so that can help you to build a better picture of how it feels. 
Now there's one thing that I have to do before I get on court and hit with this and it's put an overgrip on. This is a grip size three and I always have an overgrip on top. Uh, I actually took the overgrip off. I used an overgrip for the last couple of weeks of, of trying this, but I took it off so that you could see the original grip underneath because I do like this gray color. However, needs must. Et voila. Actually, one thing I will do is add a dampener. I always use a dampener on my rackets and I did try this without it, but I just, uh, personal preference, I just prefer the sound uh, and the feeling of impact with a dampener. Uh, but yeah, let's hit some balls. So my first hit with this racket a couple of weeks ago, it was actually quite difficult for me to get the ball in play. Um, I felt like I was hitting lots of balls long and straight away I figured that the launch angle of this racket is much higher than what I'm used to. So what I mean by that is when I impact the ball, the ball was traveling upward more than what I was used to. And I put that down to the more open string pattern, which lends itself to spin players and helping you to get a little bit more bite and spin on your shots. However, since then I figured there's actually more to it. And it comes down to this innovation that I was talking about earlier, where Wilson have actually designed the frame of this racket very differently to any others on the market. Now, generally, when you look at a tennis racket, its flex point tends to be in this direction. What Wilson have done with this racket, instead of just having flex in this direction, they've actually created lateral flex, which means that when you're hitting with topspin in this direction, the racket actually flexes up and down, adding to the amount of spin you can put on your shots. And when I read about this, it really made sense. That's the sensation that I was feeling when I was hitting the ball. That extra snap was popping the ball upwards. And as soon as I figured this out and added a little bit more topspin onto my shots, it really, really helped me to create more of that arc shape. Okay, next up we're gonna hit some backhands and as well as helping out with topspin, it can also help out with slice because you can see that lateral stability is gonna give me a little bit more bite. Let's hit some drives first. Now my backhand generally is very, very flat. So let's try and get a bit more work. That was a nice one. I'm gonna try and get a bit more arc shape. Look at that. You can definitely feel this slightly different <laughs> sensation to what I'm used to. I actually heard somebody compare this to the head speed, which is my current racket, but I don't think it feels like that. I actually think it feels more like the head extreme, more spin based, but with another different sensation that no other racket has. Definitely took me a little bit of time to get used to, but I love it now. Let's hit some slices. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I like to slice my backhand a lot. I'm really enjoying this feel. A really nice touch was this promo bag that came with the racket. They're not actually planning on releasing it. However, they have said if they get enough positive feedback about this bag, they may consider it. So let me know in the comments below if this bag is a bit of you and who knows, Wilson might see the comments and they might consider selling it. Okay, finally, I'm gonna hit some serves. So this racket actually, considering it's spin based and it's pretty good with control, it actually gives you some decent power. I mean, I don't know, normally serve that fast. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's got some very good power. You probably can't see it from there, but you might be able to hear it. I'll do two more. Lovely sound, even for my serves. Uh, ah. Yeah, one, four, five. Unfortunately, it can't fix my bad technique, but yeah, it's pretty powerful. Like I say, considering it's 
spin and control based. You definitely don't lose power. If anything, I think the open string pattern actually helped me to get a little bit more power. So overall, I would consider this racket to be amazing for intermediate to advanced players. Although it is control and spin oriented, it is pretty good when it comes to power as well. One thing I would say for my game personally, if I was to compete with it, I would probably opt for the 315 gram racket, purely because I prefer that extra weight for plow through and also that more dense string pattern of 18 by 20. For me, that would suit my game better being a bigger, flatter hitter. So I'll be really interested to try that racket out as well. As I mentioned, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the look of this racket and if you think it's something that you would like to try. And also let me know what you think of the bag that came with it as well. Thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.